Hello, and welcome to Memento Temporis Light from the Deep. Yeah, not the most easy to remember names. Uh, so this is a Metroidvania style game, and you play as this uh, girl, guy. Um, so you have a number of moves, and you left and right, and I assume you unlock more abilities and spells and things like that. I'm not particularly far in the game, but I'm kind of stuck. So I thought I'd make a video of where I am and sort of explain why I'm stuck, to be honest. Um, so, you have jump with Z. I should probably remap my controls. Uh, my controls, default controls, are not the greatest, I think. Uh, then I have X to punch, and then I move around with the arrow keys, not ones, arrow keys. Um, and as you can see, there is a the yellow bar is like a stamina bar, and the red bar is my health. So this is just a save point which I came to, um, and these are called enemies. Uh, so it's kind of weird uh, size screen, to be honest. Um, uh, these are a bunch of standard enemies, so I'll go maybe kill one of them. And that's kind of it. Uh, that is the combat system. Uh, your third hit does more damage than anything else, uh, but it also uses more stamina. Uh, maybe in the future you can uh, get more scan stamina. Uh, the inventory screen uh, is Q. I don't know. I had to look all these controls up because it's not like I or things like that. Um, this is my inventory. I have a potion. Uh, I don't quite know how to access it. Space, uh, no, enter brings up that. Stamina potion, speeds of recovery, right. Um, then we have a map. Uh, this flashing circle is where I am. Uh, and there is that blob there because that is a boss room. Uh, and then there's the optional screen there. Um, so if I, I take out this guy. Uh, that was a bit weird, I'm surprised I didn't kill him there, and he almost hit me. Uh, this is the boss room. We can go and get ourselves a potion first. Uh, by punching this box. I don't know if there's any easier way. Drop down, and we destroy this. So this is where I am stuck at. Um, so, oh yeah, I forgot there is one other control. Um, if you hold down and jump, you will do a dash. You can also dash by holding control. Uh, this is your main dodge mechanic. Uh, but it's not very responsive. Uh, it also makes you go the opposite way to... So you can't run away and then dash because then you go into them. That is a big problem, and I'm probably going to die here. You see? Ah, I went the wrong way. It also takes up a little, a little bit. There, I get my jump and punch confused, and because I don't know, Control Z and X. Not the nicest controls to use, to be honest. Uh, maybe I should have remapped it to A S. And D. Um, but yeah, so that is my problem with the game basically. The controls are not very responsive uh, if you're trying to jump. Like, just there, I was using control to dash. Uh, if you uh, hold down, sometimes you end up accidentally jumping. Uh, and I don't like the dash backwards sort of mechanic. It because if I'm holding right and I'm pressing control, I dash backwards, right? And then so I'm sort of going in the reverse direction to the way I'm holding down. So there I change which direction I'm wanting to move in, but if I'm just spamming control then it's like that one. It's an annoying bit of control, and just in general if you spam it too quickly, it's not going to happen. 
press four times there. Uh, I guess I've eventually moved there four times, but hey. Um, so I'm gonna try and get out of this um, and head up that ladder. Uh, placement and stuff is not the easiest either. Um, I assume I'd go and get some weapons at some point. Uh, you will get spells, but also just there. Um, the game slowed down. There's a oh, oh yeah, I'm just gonna and there's a time. Um, the, the game slows down when you do like finishing kills, but it doesn't stay slowed down, and it seems to only affect your character. So your character will be slow, but everything else will be running the same speed, and you're in slow motion. Uh, Just there, I jump really slowly. And that's not useful. That's gonna get me killed. See? I deliberately jumped into that to prove the point that I just didn't have a full jump. Because for some reason, I'm in slow motion, which well after the kill happens. And it kills me. Um, not sure why that's needed. Because it's nothing to do with the stamina bar. Oh, maybe it's to do this time. Hmm. Okay. So it's yeah. Okay. Maybe that's the standard bar thing. Right. Ah, let me. You also can't turn around while punching. So you have to finish off like the combo before you can move again. But the amount of stamina you use means you can't get away after... You kind of can't run away. I don't think the dodge mechanic should be part of the same mechanic that you use to do damage. Um, so yeah. Maybe it gets easier. Uh, the tutorial is not particularly clear. Um, I've not gone this way yet. Well, actually, yeah. Uh, so these blocks look sort of like at some point you maybe unlock an ability to break through there. Uh, there are quite a few areas like that. And this is right at the start of the game. This is only 15 minutes into the game. Uh, and you're already faced with things that you can't get past until you unlock some sort of ability. So maybe there's a trip back right? But that's quite early on to be happy. Uh, standard version. I'm not going to be able to make that. No. So I need some sort of better jump. Um, and yeah. So that is uh, Memento Temporis uh, Light from the Deep. Uh, as you can see, my way of saying that's a bit weird because every time I'm saying it I'm having to look up its name because I'm not sure, I can't remember its name. I, I don't quite get what it has to end, what it have to do with any of it. That from the deep, maybe that can explain something, but Memento Temporis? What? Um, so yeah, uh, also within the tutorial uh, you go and get one sign, one mechanic, slowly not very well, and you get loads of these um, save points, and right three of them uh, at the start, and yeah, uh, this thing sort of that sign indicates that there's a save point nearby, uh, but not really needed, um, and then you suddenly have much bigger gaps. But hey, uh, so yeah, that's what I think of the game. Um, not a fan of it. It is early access, so hopefully they'll go and change. It and make it more responsive um, and maybe change the way some of the stamina bar works or the attack and the move um, but I, I quite like the music the art style is okay I suppose it's fairly basic a bit like Terraria but slightly worse I guess um, 
yeah, I, I can't judge it too well though, just because I've not got far into the game, I don't know what the ability's like. Um, so, I assume that spells some sort of boots, keys to various locations. Um, if I go into options menu, and then controls, and then keyboard, uh, you'll see that there are cast spell as an option. Um, and yeah, it, one of the things which it took me a while to go and find was uh, up at the top. You can see there's that little house looking symbol. That's a path through to another section of map or whatever. It doesn't tell you that. So you're walking past this black space in the background and it you just walk past it. You don't realise that you're meant to press up like a door. Uh, so yeah, that's a thing. Anyway, so that has been Memento Temporis Light from the Deep. It's a very, very quick look. I'm not very far into the game. I'm basically stuck at that boss fight. So yeah. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.